Hey everyone, it's Teapot back with another new Market Movers feature and this time it's Market Cap. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so you're on our popular card charts and you've run a search and now if you scroll down to the stats section you can actually see this brand new Market Cap feature and what I want to point out here is that if you sort by end average, that'll really only show you part of the picture. You can't look at card prices in a vacuum and just sort of compare them apples to apples. We always talk at Sports Card Investor about population counts, and obviously if you're comparing the population counts of the first three cards on this list to Luca's card here, the population count is significantly different, and that's where market cap comes into play. Market cap is calculated by the number of outstanding cards or stocks in the stock market compared to the price of that card. So in this case, how many PSA 10 cards are there, 2,039 of this LeBron, and what's the ending average price at just under $4,000? multiply those things together and you get your market cap rate. And you can obviously sort by that number to see which of these cards has the highest market cap. And it's really interesting to see that even though Luca's card is down around $583, this you know flagship rookie card still has a higher market cap than LeBron's base and more than double the market cap of Giannis's cards. Is that an opportunity to buy Giannis? Will Luca's cards go down over time? Only you can decide that, but this market cap feature will help you make that decision.